Neons. Yes, hi guys out there. Nice to be here. Nice to be part of this amazing event. Thank you. Thank you for being a, a partner for making this uh, this stuff uh, possible. And yeah. thank you for the giveaway. I think like the, all the all the guys on the on the stream we like we like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So don't forget, guys, the giveaway you just saw. You have to go on facebook.com forward slash overclocking TV and uh, just insert the, 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 the details there. And for every time you share it with your friends, you're going to get one more entry and one more chance to win something. Yeah, exactly. That's good. And the white piece of it. <laughs> finally. <laughs> and the white piece of it. Yeah, finally. <clears throat> so, yeah. Nils, you're working for Seasonic? Yes. Um, we already did this kind of discussions on the live show actually a month ago. Yeah, for we see us. Well, I can do it for another right? agency yeah, too. <laughs> it's a regular thing now. <clears throat> yeah, damn. No, couple texts was a great time. We won the European Hardware Award. That's quite a good thing for us as well for the guys in Europe. Maybe. And that's actually something completely new. The European uh, Hardware Award was um, actually pulled by some of the biggest websites in Europe to, exactly. record, to like to it's, award it's, yeah. the best product or the best uh, companies and so on. Yeah. And actually, Hardware.info that is part of the uh, Hardware. European Hardware, Hardware Award Association, Association is other one of the media partners for this event. Cool. So, yeah. <laughs> small world, huh? Yeah. It's, it's a small circle, a small family. And I see it here as well. We, I chat with so many international guys, which normally you never see in one place. And yeah, it's, it's a quite a, a little family. And yeah, I think they, they're doing well today. So. Let's see what... Uh, w what's going on with Seasonic? Did you announce something new here during the Computex? Yes, yes. We, Tell we, me more. Yeah, we're going to Titanium. That means all uh, our work inside the R&D is now ready to launch with Titanium in the Q4. So for Christmas, if you have some money left, um, it's a good <laughs> a chance to buy our Titanium 850. We're coming out end of November in the shelves. Um, beside that, the small silent, what you now see here with a 1050 watt, we will have uh, a 750 watt uh, in the summer in the launch. So, uh, for guys who maybe don't want to use uh, 1,050 1, watt, they can use uh, or buy a 750 watt as well. And I think one of the fancy product what we now uh, will launch in the Q4 will be the Lightning Cube. This is the first quality power supply, which uh, based on an X series with a fan and colored fan. Colored so, fan? Yeah, colored fan means not only the colored fan, but we have five different uh, fan modes programmed on our IC, and uh, with a little switch in the back, I think you can check on YouTube where all some videos are out. Um, <coughs> you can change uh, the color, change with the fan uh, mode as well. So we're going over five colors. White, uh, green, yellow, blue, red. <laughs> that's, that's the colors. So, but we think we, that, that this one maybe will be uh, a nice part uh, of the market as well. Sure, so. if, if, if there's a market for it, I mean, if you guys doing that, it's because people want it, right? Yeah. You won't, you yeah. won't do something, it's, oh no, no one wants it, but we're going to sit doing it. Exactly, exactly. But, but we, we are not, not uh, digging in the dark, so we, we, we definitely know what, what happens on the market. Uh, we celebrate our 30th uh, birthday this uh, year, so that's, uh, there's also some noise inside that. Uh, and, uh, the experience of this company brings, I think, the success what we see here with the guys as well. Well, that was a quite successful, successful computer for you, the awards and uh, yeah. the, the anniversary and so on. Personal for myself, it was really good. Uh, so I, I got really good uh, chats with many guys, international guys, and uh, it's worth the traveling 12,000 kilometers. From Europe to here to yeah, get in touch with them. It's always fun to to, to come to Computex because there's so many people mm -hmm. from some so many different places in the world that you can actually meet them all at this at one place. Yeah. It's actually difficult to find and meet everyone. <laughs> but yeah, still, it's, 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 it's a good occasion. It's limited. It's one week. <laughs> okay, when you book uh, two weekends, you will have uh, a lot of night outs, which is maybe the, the more important uh, thing <laughs> for the Computex as well. Um, yeah, socializing is uh, one of the things that we can do here very, very well. And uh, Taipei is a beautiful place to be as well. So we, we have a, 
Yeah, Taipei is awesome. Where yeah. there's a lot of people here. Even here at this event, we have people from Brazil. We have yeah. people from Indonesia. We have people from Germany. Yeah. We have people from South America. South America, South Africa. It's it's okay. crazy. It's like completely international uh, at, on all the levels. Yeah. And actually, we were asking people on the live chat where do they come from, and we saw that there's uh, at this time a lot of people from Europe, uh, Netherlands, Serbia, yeah. Germany, Canada. Yeah. Oh, Canada, not that's not Europe. <laughs> Right. France, Germany, and actually yeah. you are from Germany, right? Yes, I'm from Germany. So, <laughs> hello, Leute draußen aus Deutschland. Ich grüße euch alle einmal. And uh, now we go back to English again. <laughs> <laughs> I did learn seven years for to speak German, but I never managed oh, to do it's, it. It's cool when the French talk German, but we don't want to do it. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the accent is really, for us, it's a really funny accent, but... Uh, <clears throat> okay, so... Um, Niels. Yeah. What's special about the seasoning PSUs? Um, Let's say that someone yeah. of the choice. You have the seasoning PSU and you have other brand. I, I cannot say the, the, the other brands. No, we, we, we like are not talking about brands. Brands, brands, brands or oh, manufacturers. We, we have a very let's say calm situation in the market, but we are, have no really enemy. So we we are calm with any kind of uh, manufacturer and brands. So. Um, but for Seasonic, I think one of the most important thing is Seasonic is a manufacturer of power supplies from the beginning of 1975 until now, so 40 years experience. And power supply, um, to design a power supply, it's not able to do it with uh, a student who comes from a university and starts to uh, create a power supply. You need really brain works and uh, experience from the year. It's an analog device still. And uh, for all these uh, technology, what we have, uh, we we need uh, old uh, established uh, engineers, and um, yeah, that's that's one of the thing what we we are maybe doing a little better or better than the others, um, and we are quality driven. So our most top one topic is the quality and the best technology for power supply. You guys know we are not the cheapest, maybe we are the most expensive power supply <laughs> out there, but you can trust and rely on that and this is something which we really, really take care of. We, we don't want to have crappy uh, situation with LMA or services, so all what you get from us is uh, yeah, a new power supply when it's broken, so that's also a unique thing on the market, so you never get a refurbished thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think uh, it's a valued brand and a valued uh, product that you can buy on the market. Well, it's important that for you guys to remind that uh, for overclockers, it's very important to have good, uh, actually, good power supply and a good, uh, a good power for the overclock for the overclocking. Yeah, especially for extreme overclocking. For most people, there's always a debate like, should I get a big PSU for regular gaming rig, or should I get like a regular one, like six six hundred fifty, that enough? So there's always the same discussions going over and over and over again. Um, before everyone ask on the chat. Does it make sense to buy a 1200 watt PSU when you just have only one VGA? No. <laughs> so the answer <laughs> is no. <laughs> no. Uh, you can do it. We will be happy about that, but this really makes no sense. Um, it exists in the, in the web. Uh, some, uh, the name of PSU calculators, forget all that shit. They are calculating not in the correct, uh, um, yeah. It's, it's just loading. estimate all the time. Yes, it's it's there are some yeah some logical formulas behind something adding and and but it makes no sense if you want to have okay for my opinion it exists three kind of uh, power supply or gaming uh, or uh, PC what you need in the in the P, in the PC system so we have probably entry level without any kind of uh, VGA you need uh, maybe 350 400 watt that's enough so the new platforms of Intel and uh, and uh, the onboard graphic cards don't need more than 200 watt at, at least. That, that's actually what Transmit even just say on the chat. He says, I use a 700 watt PSU, but I probably use only 200 watt of it. Yeah, good. So, Aerotrex, <coughs> hi, yeah. Back to you. <laughs> good, to, good to see you in the chat. Um, no, but what, what we really, really uh, want, to, want to say inside the market is, okay, you need the advantage which is uh, around 30% higher than your normal usage. So the mainstream in, in, the, in the PC section is 500, 550 watt. So that is enough for, uh, yeah, provide uh, a Titan X, 
with a normal system actually. Uh, if you're going to overclocking, of course, then you need more. But uh, yeah. if you bench... Anyway, uh, here yeah. in the guild I have like more than 500 watts PSUs and in multiple ones because of the modification on the Titan X. Yeah. But this is like out of everything you can see. There's nothing like this on the market yeah. for, for we, these we, kind we, of guys. We are, we are, I'm speaking about the, the, the VGA Titan X, what you can buy on the shelf, yeah. you go to the shop and you, when you have a 550 watt quality power supply, um, then it should be enough to run this one with a 550 watt. Uh, if you got to a slime mode, uh, that means a second graphic card, go around 850, maybe go to 1000, that's okay as well. And between the, the wedges, like 760, or you have to a little bit adjust which kind of usage you have, but probably 550, 1000, and 350 or 400 watt. These are the three categories what you need uh, to provide your running PC. So that's good. So basically, once you know that, you, uh, you don't have to ask the questions again then. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> so so um, I want to talk a little bit outside of what you're actually doing for Seasonic, but mm -hmm. more about the PSU industry by itself. Okay. Um, we see a lot of brands, uh, brands that did memory in the past, brands that did something completely out of the PSU world, right. just jump inside the PSU market. Uh, first, why is that? And they all have gaming PSUs. Okay, so we know that everyone wants to do gaming and put the gaming tag on their on their product. Yeah. But <clears throat> is is it like everyone got the same one, or everyone is actually? Yeah, um, it, it looks like sometimes you just have one factory making everything, and then people just put a sticker on it. Yeah, sadly, we are not the one factory who make everything. <laughs> but uh, okay. Outside is not more than a rumor. We are a factory, so we are uh, a twin <coughs> between the, the branding, our own brand, which let's say the Formula One of our power supply, what we can do. So we're looking on our technology on the other side. You, you, yeah, you, you watch it right. It's inside the market, we have now a couple of brands which have a good brand awareness in cases or in RAM or they're going uh, outside of the gaming and then they, they create a product line with pieces which makes sense, of course, because when we're selling the other stuff, they can sell and add on uh, PSU as well. Well, part of the ecosystem, the gaming ecosystem. Exactly, exactly. Mostly, let's say, they, they're working with quality factories together. So a couple of them outside working with us, others working with other brands. But uh, normally you can trust on all these brands and uh, the quality mostly. So if there is a good uh, SDUM manufacturer brand, you can trust on the PSU as well. Uh, finally, look at the, uh, the reviews of these. So that's maybe bring you a better view on that. Because they, the brands mostly hitting price points. Mm -hmm. And they, they want to have exactly what I told some minutes yeah. ago. 400 watt, 550 watt, and they want to fit the market just exactly. for, for, for they, the segment. Right? Exactly, they find <coughs> they want to have uh, yeah place the feed inside the segment and want to achieve market share on that. The PSU market, especially for PC system, is sh shrinking each year. So that, but that it's it's shrinking, but there's more and more brand doing it. And yeah, but it's it's shrinking. It's really shrinking. <coughs> so that. that the, the quantity of power supplies outside in the market in case of a PC, the, the, the native PC system is shrinking. Um, but the quality is going up. So especially the guys from 80 plus help us to, to have quality, the, the regulation inside uh, the different kind of uh, uh, areas like in Europe with uh, your um, lot six uh, thing. So it, you, you have to be take care, care of quality power supplies. And, and that's why we came with like the Oedipus bronze, uh, silver, yes. uh, gold, yes. we had platinum, and the next one is titanium. titanium. Yeah. Now, um, for, for the people that, everyone saw that on the boxes of the PSU, but for most of the gamers that just join us on Twitch or from the uh, ROG website mm -hmm. or from uh, some of the partner websites, mm -hmm. What's the difference between them? I do know, but yeah, I want we, like the, the technical we, PSU guys to explain yeah, what's going on. I, I, can, I can explain <coughs> it, I, I think, very in a very easy way. First of all, okay, um, in the past, let's say in the, the year of 2005 around, um, there was no uh, PSU outside who has more efficiency like 60-65%. Uh, we, uh, at Seasonic, we met some guys out there 
uh, in, in the US who had the idea, hey, we create the 80 plus uh, or the 80 percent efficient PSU. So uh, our engineers at this time, they, they saw a challenge in that and said, hey, we, we want to go inside that. And uh, yes, we were the first power supply unit ever who was certified for 80 plus white. So 80 plus uh, certification means 20, 50, 80 and 100 percent should be with 80 plus or more. So that means when you use the PSU just for 10% yeah. or 50% or 100%, yes. that needs to be within a boundary of efficiency. So for exactly. everyone, for every watt that you need to use in your computers, exactly. you're just going to need that to be consumed. So yes. let's say you use 150 watts literally inside the computers, you need like uh, 160 watts to create that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 the, that's the easiest way yeah. of explaining that. It's a bit uh, e technical. Easy, yeah. easy, easier is if you uh, put 100, 100 watt outside the, the, the power plug and your PC gets 80 of it and 20% or 20 watt blow as hot uh, air. Okay, it's actually outside. easier to explain it this way. <laughs> this, this is easier when uh, going like that. Um, yeah, it all belongs to heat dissipation. So uh, as more efficient uh, PSU is, as less cooling, as, le as silent you can run the system, and as uh, more you're using from your power cost eff uh, effective in your PC. That's, that's the reason. So nature saving or energy saving, this is uh, what is behind there. Um, yeah, and uh, the other steps like bronze, silver, gold, platinum and titanium are only rising up. So I, when, by the way, when we say 80 plus gold, we have 90% to achieve. Now with uh, uh, titanium, we have 95% to achieve. So what's going to be next? Carbon or? <laughs> I don't know what's going to be next. The 100% we know, it's normally not uh, impossible to, to achieve. But uh, if you can, uh, give that challenge to, to engineers, that's, that's their, their fun and their job, so we will see what is finally coming out. Yeah, so... I see. Um, I was actually checking the giveaway. We yeah. could actually do one, but that's not going to be a Seasonic product. Okay. That's going to be uh, Asus product. Do you still want to do it? Yeah. I sure. Take a um, look That's going to be an Asus cap because you find out the special giveaway hat. So actually, there's a, a little story behind that uh, that ad that I will explain right after we launch the giveaway. Are you guys ready for some uh, energy cap? I need to find one right here. There you can present that to the stream. And so this hat is uh, a giveaway that you can win if you enter the following questions. Do you want people to answer the questions or random to anyone that participates? No, I, I will give them a question. How old is Seasonic? How old is Seasonic? So, we're gonna open the raffle and you have to answer the questions How old is Seasonic? And for that to participate, you just have to type exclamation mark raffle and your answer in the live chat. And for that, you can win special energy cap for it. Actually, you could even put the uh, special uh, giveaway ad on it. Oh. So don't forget guys to win the ring question. How old is Sonic? Mistake. I always look for the right, uh, ah, the yeah. right uh, <laughs> <laughs> button on the keyboard. It's it's, it's not quite. A, it's it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a Chinese keyboard that we have here. It's, it's a bit weird to, to type. Uh, <laughs> and sir. So here we go. We're gonna have this the giveaway thing, the special giveaway uh, overlay that we have here. <coughs> so I will. During the time that we do the giveaway, I will explain you guys how this all happened. Usually we do, <coughs> usually we do some uh, training for the people that use uh, liquid nitrogen here for this uh, Azure World Tour. 
Um, you, you always have to use some special uh, protection equipment, one of which is the gloves, the other one is the goggles, and the last one that is actually a bit useless is the helmet. But that was funny to, to have one, and especially when you wear it like uh, Bob, uh, what's that, Bob the, uh, Bob the, uh, Bob the, uh, Bob the, uh, the how was the name in, uh, in German? You mean uh, the, the 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 cartoon with the uh, ah, yellow hat? Bob the Baumeister. Bob the Baumeister. Bob the Builder. Yeah. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. Yeah, Bob the Builder. Yeah, what? <laughs> and then you yeah. look like this. And this <laughs> is the giveaway <laughs> ad. So every time I have my ad, there's gonna be a giveaway. Right. <laughs> That was actually quite fun because um, that was like I think a, a month ago we were in uh, in Europe for another uh, event yes, uh, by Isis yeah. in Germany and you were there and we did like this giveaway on the live and actually that's from that's from there that the guy signed on the signed on the on the uh, on the hats on the helmets I can't remember who put the hat here but anyway <laughs> so see some okay. people are still here today. What? That's fun. So every time you will see, you guys gonna see me with my hat. That means there's a giveaway going on. I answer once again. I will repeat the questions to win one of this ROG cap. You have to answer the following questions in the live chat. How old is Sisonic? If you want to type your answer, you just type exclamation mark raffle and your answer. So we'll uh, let that uh, going a little bit, okay. and we're gonna continue talking about uh, the PSU market. Um, a lot of people from other markets going to the PSU market. Yes. Is Sony going outside of that and expanding? No. We, we really, we really uh, have no activities and don't want to go outside this kind of uh, industry and this kind of special uh, niche. Uh, the, the simple reason is when you have the engineers who are um, over 20 and more years inside the company, you, you can't change the product, so you have to establish a new department, a new uh, group of people, and uh, the knowledge and the, the focus of our company is over 40 years now, the, the PSU, and will be. Of course, we are not producing PSUs only for the PC system, so you will find us in the stadium and the moving lights around there, or when you're going inside trains, uh, you'll find us as well, maybe if you open some boxes. Uh, <laughs> that or you should actually not open. <laughs> nah, yeah, but, or ATMs or wherever. Okay. So we are really uh, uh, a power supply company which are doing power supplies for any kind of demand. So the PC is one of the, let's say for me, the fancy thing, so I like to to join in that. So, But other industries have a, um, their attraction as well. So um, no. The answer is no. <laughs> Good, so you're going to no. stick to your markets because yeah. you want to do it uh, as best as you can, I guess. Exactly. And you're the uh, factory, so you say you have the branding name that is Seasonic, but you have the factory exactly. side at the OEM for, yeah. uh, for the brand and so on. It's actually uh, interesting to, to, to discuss that. Is it difficult to build a PSU? Yeah, it's not that easy because you have, when you build a PSU, you have to uh, take care not only about, okay, what I want to run with the PSU, uh, how I can build it, or which kind of uh, regulation I have to um, reach. So certification, safety, uh, where I want to sell it. So there are many, many things. Uh, before you get to into a design, uh, you have to check exactly which kind of uh, regulation certifications you need, which kind of demand in the market is. So if you run uh, in the wrong direction, you will waste... Uh, a lot of uh, dollars uh, for that. So for us, it's, it's very important to to be very near to the manufacturers. So you see that uh, we we're working with all these guys who are sponsoring that you very close together to find uh, the correct PSU for the correct new products. So we know mostly the products in the future earlier than uh, the market itself. And uh, yeah, no, it's it's definitely not that easy. And uh, for Sonic, we have a special regulation in our company as well. Our engineer who are in charge for this uh, project of the PSU is in charge for the LMA as well. So, and if there is a fancy idea, uh, which maybe uh, would be nice inside the market, but uh, the engineer sees, oh, that could be an LMA problem, then we won't do that. So because of quality issues, we are really uh, really uh, focused on lowest LMR on the market, and this is our goal as well. 
I see. Um, so to be honest, I've been in this industry for uh, for the past 14 years, and to me, Seasonic always was more on the uh, uh, industrial side for a long time. Yeah. And then I see you like catching up on like the consumer market. Uh, now you have the full white one. Yeah. And you're thinking that you might have a LED one coming, yes. or actually a really? color one coming. Yes. Um, is that a, a way for you to say that we are still here to the to the consumer that uh, maybe you will go for like the, the the more like the Corsair other people that already know from the uh, from the other uh, outside of this market? Yeah, I, I think uh, the the way how Sonic did it in the past was I think a very good way in case of what we present to the market is the industrial approved. Our units, which now you guys can sell in the retail, has uh, a lifetime in industry 24/7 uh, behind them. So they, they they can use as an industrial unit as well. Our platforms, what we're using, okay, they they have not the same name for the industrial usage. Maybe they are using in, in another uh, size or uh, or case. But uh, finally, industrial at first and then consumer is not the the uh, worst way to have quality products mm -hmm. in the market. <laughs> you do have some like yeah. Q&A in, uh, in the past anyway. Yeah, sure. Talking about going to the consumer market, yeah. uh, I know that you're actually uh, dealing with some of the other pickers. Uh, yeah. Can you actually tell a bit more about what's going on or it's not yet uh, completely mm -hmm. official? No, you mean the guy who won the third place? Or? Yeah. yeah. No, of course I can. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Dan Corp, which... Uh, is one of our, let's say, top partners. We have somebody else inside the, the top ranking, so I don't want to say only Dancorp. We have Natural, we got so Argentina said that you can't be here this year, but hopefully we will see us next. And uh, other guys who, who are using us. So in the last uh, months, I think we were twice in the ranking of the top uh, uh, yeah, used power supply unit in your HW board ranking. So, I, I think Seasonic um, has a couple of guys outside on the front, and of course, Dan Corp, we are part of him. He won the third place in the G-Skill event, and uh, yeah, it's, it's one of the guys, I think he was the fastest uh, growing to the top uh, overclocker who exists and was long time there in the top one. But for us, I think he is, he's a really, really good partner at the moment. So. He joined us the whole week and uh, we had a lot of fun, a lot of success and finally a third place. Wow, so, we will so see how that, uh, that's going to perform for the rest of the uh, yeah. of his uh, journey, I would say, in the uh, yeah. world, in the ranking. He's actually uh, competing here today and he's uh, very focused and I, I'm waiting for him to put some good scores out, especially I because so. I'm sure he prepared for that, yeah. prepared for some of the, uh, of the, uh, of the scores that he need to, to put out this weekend. Yeah. Um, Niels, we're gonna finish the raffle. Perfect. <laughs> so now let's see. <laughs> so let's close the raffle right now for this Asus cap. Let's close it and draw someone that need to have the right answer. Yeah. And can you remind what was the question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. No. How old is Seasonic? The right answer is forty. 40 years. Yes, 40 years. So uh, let's see if the first person to be drawn, oh, sadly, say 25. Uh, Madown, sorry, that's not the right answer. Second person is Nvidia Forever 2 from uh -huh. France. Oh, cool. That's, say, 40 years. So that guy yeah. will win that cap. Congratulations, Nvidia Forever 2. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. here you go, Adams on the live chat. Yeah. Thank you, Niels. Thank yes. you for, for your time. Uh, I appreciate that uh, you could pass by and have this yeah. kind of, uh, of discussions. Thank you for, for the event, too. Yeah. Uh, sponsoring this kind of uh, event is actually a, a, a good idea. So I think I'm going to see you around still for the, for the next few hours. And uh, we will definitely see you on some more live in the next yeah. future. Now we'll go. I have a <laughs> smell of a record here. Okay, <laughs> so see you guys. Bye bye. bye.
and we are back live. Let's get ready to rumble.